Mabuhay everyone, Marches here, welcome to the channel and for today's video, I'll be giving you my initial impression on the Why Not 0.6. Let's go! Guys, as of the moment while I'm filming this video, Russell Westbrook has no current team yet. He's been traded but they said he will be released and we're not quite sure where he will go after that when he's released so he's on the limbo now but that's a little story a side story for his signature sneaker this is the why not 0.6 and in this is the what they're calling the iron man colorway so why they are calling this the iron man colorway because it has the red orange color similar to the costume which i disagree because this is more of an orange instead of that really red color of Iron Man so if someone knows the story behind this colorway let me know but for me it looks really nice it's a red bright red orange color which really can catch your attention while you're playing the red orange is not even a dull red orange even the other materials of this 0.6 colorway all of the areas are bright, even the accent which is neon green is really popping out. The colors are really popping out. You can even see that inside the heel plus the stitches around the middle part of the sneaker. Also has that bright neon green and even the straps inside which is the like fly wire or Jordan flight wire that what they're calling it. So inside the inner lining is also made up of that bright green. So I'm not gonna lie guys, I really am digging the design of the 0.6 and if you've noticed here in my channel, I didn't review the 0.5 because it was looking very similar to the 0.4 which I reviewed which was an okay performer but I didn't review that because they had a similar tech from the 0.5 and the 0.4 but on the 0.6 they really change out the aesthetics of this sneaker and I really like it. In my opinion, it's a very fashion forward design. It has this zipper that is just until here, but the zipper that goes around the entire sneaker, the top part going around the heel part of the sneaker. And if you take notice, if you look closely, I'll be putting a close up on this. You can see why not written on this top part of the zipper which is really really cool so it's written why not why not why not and you can't zip that area but this one has the regular zipper design because you can zip and unzip it but this area doesn't have that you can see why not all over it which is really really cool on the zipper design of the 0.6 what makes it interesting is it's also diagonal, it's just not a straight zipper like the PG Force. The PG Force I have behind me, I have a, a, where, a Nike ID there somewhere behind me. And this one is diagonal, very nice, and I think you can rock this off court too. I could pair this with an at least sure style, and this will go very nicely with it especially this color as for the materials of the upper the upper layer of the sneaker is made out of this very big ripstop which is really light and there's very nice ventilation to it and while I was wearing it around here in my studio um, it doesn't feel warm around your foot it has a very nice ventilation and the inner lining is made out of the jersey mesh like fabric which has that honeycomb design and on top of that are the flight wires which are like fly wire cables that goes to the footbed so from the lateral part and middle part you can see both have those wires four on each side what i really felt about that flight wire is it really hugged my foot really well just tighten it up really well and you will feel the inner layer really hugging your foot which is really nice for support so for as of the moment they felt really good in terms of lateral support when i was doing the lateral stops in my videos 
and they feel really really nice and i think this is really made for big and strong guards like russell westbrook if you're a player who does powerful sidesteps you will surely like the support that the y not 0.6 is giving so hopefully that transitions well when i'm playing with the y not 0.6 and like i said the material the inner lining material is made of honeycomb so it's very well ventilated even though this is a dual layered upper it feels really really well ventilated around your foot as for durability on the toe box you can see the synthetic leather which has this snake skin pattern which is really nice and dope and underneath it is this felt like material that goes to the lateral part of the sneaker so it's not just for design but it will give extra durability to the upper of the sneaker while around the lateral part of the midfoot you can see this fusing on the ripstop material while on the middle part is a felt like material which has the Russell Westbrook logo there and some stitching just to give this a very like an off-white vibe to the sneaker as you can see the padding on the tongue is it's not stitched you can see it out here and there's some more leather around the tongue part and Jordan brand logo on the pull tab on the tongue and another Jumpman logo around the heel part of the sneaker. As for the heel lockdown support, it has a very nice Achilles pillows wrapping around your ankle. And as for heel containment, while I was um, just trying it out here, it felt very good heel containment lockdown. There's no heel slippage and it has a very comfortable feel around your ankles. There's an internal plate here for heel containment too. Plus this foam also goes up and cages your foot really well and you're kind of seated right below here even though this looks thick but you're seated right around this part of the traction so it's very low to the ground which we will be going to in a bit while for the insole it has a traditional insole nothing special on the insole but as for the upper they felt really comfortable i would say no breaking time needed on the upper of the Wayna 0.6. Now let's move on to the cushion part of the Wayna 0.6, which I think is kind of a downgrade from the 0.5 because the 0.5 and the 0.4 has a dual zoom unit on the forefoot, which is just this small. For this one, they just retain one zoom unit the forefoot according to the tech specs, which uh, kind of bum. I was hoping that it will have more cushion on the Y 0.6 given that Westbrook is getting older he needs more cushion right below his feet he's still very athletic right now and kind of sucks that they lessen the the cushion on the Y 0.6 so as for the carrier foam it just says foam on the tech specs so I think this is just phylon material and the phylon carrier that carries the zoom unit in the forefoot too is very thin you feel really low to the ground with the 0.6 compared to the 0.5 and the 0.4 and if you are someone who likes that you want a very responsive sneaker and very low to the ground feel this has a very low to the ground feel and i was actually wearing this side by side with my next lebron next which we'll be talking about in another video and this feels really low but you will feel immediately the air zoom unit in the forefoot it feels really bouncy but as for impact protection in the forefoot especially on the heel it's not too evident if you're looking for a very nice impact protection sneaker you should go away with the y 0.6 but if that's not a problem if you are okay with a minimal impact protection on the heel this will be a good cushion setup for you the outsole is a decoupled outsole like all other Y9 0.6. Russell really likes a decoupled outsole when he's running up and down the floor. And you could bend the sneaker very easily even though it has a plastic TPU piece here. It's very easy to bend. But twisting part, it has restrictions. So I think that's the purpose of this so that the sneaker won't over twist and you won't injure your foot, especially around the midfoot part. Off your foot 
So that is the job of this TPU plate. And as for the traction, it has a sliding part in the around the middle part of the traction, which has herringbone pattern on it, while on the side it has knobs. And I would say this sneaker is not ideal for outdoor use, even though it has herringbone pattern around the middle part of the traction. But this knobs, when I was trying the cement area of my studio, I could feel the knobs really moving. So I think if you use this for outdoors, the knobs will eventually rip out quicker than expected. So the knobs are from the forefoot to the heel. And of course, the cushion of the Y knots is really, really not that thick or not that plush. So I think outdoor use is not recommended on the 0.6. But if you are someone who's just playing indoors, I think the Y9 0.6 is very ideal, especially if you want a lower to the ground feel. There is squeakiness in the traction. The grip looks promising. I still have to test them out on a dusty floor also. So I'll let you know that in the performance review of the Y9 0.6. As for the sizing of the 0.6, I have to go half a size down on the 0.6. So, it runs really long and there is a lot of room around the forefoot so i would say this is a very wide footer friendly sneaker so if you're a wide foot i would suggest you trying out the why nots because it's really a wide foot friendly sneaker but if you're a regular footer go half a size down that's my recommendation it's a quite expensive sneaker given that they kind of reduce the tech on the why nots because they remove the other zoom unit in the forefoot which i really like and of course the extra foam on the impact protection on the heel of the y knots so that's lesson up but as for the weight while i'm carrying it it feels very very light so the weight for a 10.5 us is 414 so that's a pretty light sneaker for the y knots given that there's a shroud it's a dual layered upper there's a lot of material that it's in the forefoot and even on the heel there's also this leather material here so quite surprised with the weight because i think mainly the upper even though this is ripped stop it's really thin and the jersey material on the underlining fabric is also very very thin and plush so i would say right now initial impression very good in terms of support lateral support it has a very wide base in the forefoot so stability won't be a problem on the Westbrooks and like I said low to the ground but you will feel the bounciness in the forefoot so I would say it has a very similar feeling to the forefoot zoom of the Zion 2's so if you like the cushion setup of the Zion 2's you will like the forefoot zoom unit of the Westbrook while on the heel yeah I'm kind of wondering about that because the Zion's is a lot cheaper compared to the Y knots and the Y knots doesn't have that air struggle around the heel which the Zion has and this doesn't have kind of confused with that Jordan brand because both are from Jordan brand but Zion's is just priced at about 7,000 pesos so around $20 difference it's $20 more expensive compared to the Zion so I guess that's how it is right now but let me know what your thoughts are on the why not will you be copying this pair but in terms of look i really am digging the aesthetics of the 0.6 let me know what your thoughts are down below so this has been marches once again thank you for dropping by the channel i'll catch you in the next one cheers